Alright, we're all loaded up. Give you guys a show of the load real quick. It's nothing big going up to Home Depot, back up to the house. Uh, my plan wasn't to go back home, but there's not really anything that I want to do. I'm not really looking to go to California just yet, so uh, we'll do this for now. That's it, just a load of mulch. Uh, we got uh, 15 bags, eight to the back, one in the middle, three to the front. Um, I have to measure this trailer a little bit more. They have the setter, uh, the center load point here for coils. But then the light is more like the center of the trailer itself. The only thing I can say positively about this trailer is I'm not a big fan. I do not really, I really do not care for the Great Dane. Um, I honestly like the utility the best. That that has been my thus far. There it is. Thus far has been my favorite trailer yet. Um, honestly, the biggest thing, and I'd see, I'd see if I could find a picture of it to uh, to to um, make it easier to understand, is is the way that you can hook the straps underneath. Um, that was it. That's, that's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, this, the thing that throws me off about these trailers is, uh, when I measured it, when I was, uh, there for orientation, is the pockets in the front of the trailer, there's five pockets, and those pockets are part of the 48-foot trailer. So in order for me to have a full 48 feet of a product, that product has to hang over top of those pockets in the front. But uh, overall, I miss my utility trailer. If I could, if I could. If I could turn this one back over to Mercer and get a utility tomorrow, I'd probably do it. I always wanted one of them all aluminum trailers. Um, but after seeing the problems people have had in the past uh, with them with them breaking around the, 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 the rear axles and stuff, I just... I think I want to stick with a combo. Um, the biggest thing I really liked about the, the idea about the aluminum trailers was that there you didn't really have to worry about them any rust other than you know the axles and suspension and components. Um, but the main beams of the trailer, the main body uh, bed of the trailer, you didn't have to worry about uh, them rusting over. Um, but them beams cracking, that, that that makes me hesitant. I'm gonna buy a trailer, I want it to last me 10, 15, 20 years. I don't wanna be, you know, 10, 10 years down the road and all of a sudden that aluminum crack on the stress points. So, that's it, that's all my ramblings today. Um, I'm gonna get a bunch of road footage because we're going up a bunch of back roads in Pennsylvania, so. Watch it or don't. Here it is. Wake up to PM. I don't know where we are. Looks like a cheap motel.
I don't wanna be a 
waiting for the uh for the kid to come out and unload us so this is actually my home depot this is the one that i shop at it's in the app as my store there you go so we're in uh clay new york liverpool new york um gets kind of confusing in this area whether it's clay or Liverpool. But yeah, so as soon as this guy gets out here, he'll start unloading me. I got everything unstrapped and put away. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna do a little tarp patching this afternoon. Um, and then I'm leaving Sunday night. So this will uh, conclude this long video. And I hope everybody has a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.